Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be partnering together this $1,200 gaming PC. This PC built is brought to you by Montech in their Sky One PC case. We're going to be using some of their RGB fans and the Sky One to build a really awesome gaming PC that's going to have great airflow and look really nice. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit more about Montech and why they're sponsoring this video. So this Sky One case from Montec is a really cool case. Tempered side glass, full power supply basement, it's a full size case. It even has a mesh front that comes with one fan in the front and an RGB fan installed in the rear. And of course you do have access to install more RGB fans, which we are going to be doing as well. And also one thing that I thought was really cool is the front panel does come off and normally you have some cables connecting the RGB, but it's actually wireless. It just uses contact points to actually feed it the electricity it needs. So that's really cool. So thanks to Montag for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna go ahead and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this PC build and then get to building in the Sky One from Montag. All right guys, so we're throwing it back a little bit. This is the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. It's an eight core 16 threaded processor that is quite overclockable and it also boosts on its own really well. It does come with the Wraith Max cooler that has some RGB on it, but we're gonna actually be cooling it with a different cooler that we'll show you in a second. But we won second gen because while on Amazon, good deal right now. On Newegg, they're also a good deal right now because while 3600, 3700Xs, they kind of make us wanna cry. They're a little bit up there in price. So this will do just fine uh, with all the other parts that we have picked out. So thanks from our friends over at ID Cooling for sending over this white snow edition Zoomflow 240X. It's just a 240 uh, millimeter AIO and it does have RGB on the actual block and RGB on the fan. So that's actually pretty cool. Maybe we'll be able to integrate them, although these are some white fans, so we might have to ditch them. Now for the motherboard, we have the Aorus B450 Elite. So the reason why we would with the B450 was because it's a 2700X and so technically don't support it since it's second gen. So hey, B450, it is compatible with it out of the box and also it will be 4,000, 5,000 ready as well. Now for all of you enthusiasts out there from Team Group, we have the T-Force Extreme or Extreme as it might be pronounced, uh, 16 gigs at 3200 megahertz. So 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz, not anything too crazy about that. I mean, it's a good capacity. It's usually what we recommend for size and speed but you're paying a lot more because you're getting this super fancy like mirrored RGB and it does, I'll be honest, look really sweet. However, you are going to be paying quite the premium for it. I think it's probably about 50 to $60 more than a standard 16 gig kit. So just keep that in mind. Team Group does offer really budget RGB RAM as well. That's like some of our favorite stuff for the price. Now for storage, we have one of our favorite M.2 drives. This is the Crucial P1. This is a one terabyte NVMe SSD. It's one gonna remove the cable clutter of having a SATA cable and SATA power running in the case, and also gives you some blazing fast transfer speeds to, well, do some video editing with this 2700X, which is very capable, and uh, well, just be able to download games and have a lot of space to do so. Now for the GPU, if you're not on the used market and you're trying to buy new, right now at the time recording this video, the 5700 XT is kind of your best option. This thing is a great card for 1080p high refresh rate gaming or 1440p, and well, it is a good value right now. They're actually going on promo most of the time during like Black Friday sales and in general because of the new launch of the MD cards, but that doesn't mean this is not a good option even though it's last generation. This build is still going to be great for pretty much any game you want to play. And now for the power supply, Montech was nice enough to send over their Century fully modular 850 watt power supply. Now, Montech does not only just make cases, they make some really awesome power supplies and they come in a wide range of wattages. And this is gonna be definitely overkill for this PC build. You don't need 850 watts to run this. You could probably get away with 550, 600, maybe just a 500 watt power supply if you really wanted to. But we wanted to showcase this Montech power supply. It's fully modular, so this build's gonna look super sick and we're uh, very excited to use it. And lastly, once again, this is the Montec Sky One. The main reason they are sponsoring this video comes with that beautiful mesh. We're gonna be adding these Z3 Pro ARGB fans to this build. We're not totally sure what we're gonna do as far as like the layout goes, but it's gonna look super nice once we put this thing all together. Very excited to test out this mesh front and see how cool our PC is. Um, and yeah, that's about it. How about we go ahead and put this thing together?
right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this Montag gaming PC all put together, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now we decided to test this PC in a handful of titles, those being Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Warzone, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Doom, and Fortnite. First up in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is the first PC we're testing this on the channel, we got well over 100 FPS on high settings. Honestly, I am not surprised with this configuration whatsoever. The 2700X and the 5700XT is kind of a match made in heaven right now, given the uh, hardware limitations in stock right now. Uh, with all the new parts being out of stock, it's really tempting to go with the 2700X, and at its current price point, it's not that bad. You can also pick this thing up on the used market for a really good price, sometimes around $170 to like $180, and at that price point is definitely a good value and does compete with some of the new stuff coming to the market. And of course, the 5700XT has no problems playing any game you want at 1080p or 1440p high settings. The same goes for Call of Duty Warzone. On high settings, we get 100 plus FPS. These games do run very similarly, so if you do see the performance numbers in Cold War, it's going to be pretty similar in Warzone. So we have no problems whatsoever running around, getting a couple kills in Warzone, and not having any issues. One thing I do like is that the 2700X definitely has some more headroom, given that you could upgrade from the 5700XT to a newer generational GPU. I wouldn't see any problem pairing something like the RTX 3070 with a 2700X. It still would work really well. The 2700X is no slouch when it comes to performance. The same goes in our AAA title benchmark of choice, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. In this game, we got an average of 110 FPS on high settings. You could definitely bump this up to 1440p if you wanted to and get over 60 FPS. And for a PC that comes in at $1,200, that's really all you can ask for, especially in a game as demanding as Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which you have seen on all our PC builds on the channel can be really taxing. Next up is Doom Eternal, and on Ultra Nightmare, we got over 100 FPS again. Honestly, I am really impressed with this PC. I can say this a million times, but this PC really delivers a lot of performance for the money, and you know what? It's actually in stock, which is something you can't say about a lot of PC hardware right now, and the fact that it gets over 100 FPS in all the major titles out there at 1080p really makes it a compelling option if you're somebody looking to build a PC right now and really don't care to wait for all the new stuff that will eventually come back in stock. And lastly, every Everyone's favorite game, Fortnite, on pro settings at 1080p, which is epic view distance, everything else on low, we got over 200 plus FPS. This PC will be perfectly fine for entry level streaming on esports titles and even some of the higher end games that we have out there. So, games like Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, all of them will have no problems getting over 100 plus FPS. So, you can play high refresh rate if you want to on some of those really affordable high refresh rate monitors out there that are really easy to get from the companies like Pixio, Viotech, Scepter, and the like. I was also very impressed with how well this Montex Sky One case cooled this PC, getting really good temperatures in pretty much any game we tested, while also looking super sick. Cause come on guys, you know that B-roll at the end with all that RGB looked super nice. Overall, I really like this PC build for the money. The Montex case makes for a really well performing PC and the hardware we put inside this thing is some of the best value hardware you can get on the market, let alone the fact that it is quote unquote a few generations old. It still gets up and plays any game you want and can do some content creation on the side. So now that we've finished the benchmarking section of today's video, how about we go to bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so not only did this thing look really pretty, it also performed really well. We really love this Montec case, the Montec power supply. And honestly, overall, even with all these fans, it's a pretty quiet build, which we like to have. The Montec Sky One is an awesome case, considering the airflow, all the nice RGB that we use. We actually use Montec RGB fans for this build, just to show you how nice they can look. And also the performance was not disappointing either. The 2700X is still definitely a good CPU for someone getting into content creation, whether you're live streaming or video editing. 8 core 16 thread boosts up really high. It is still very competitive, even with all the new offerings on the market. And overall, I was very impressed with this configuration and how this build turned out. And one of the best things you got to remember about this is this is all stuff that you can actually get right now because, well, it's hard to get NVIDIA stuff that's second generation, also the new generation. And on top of that, the 5700 XT is not old by any means. 2700 X, while it is technically one, two generations behind, it is still pretty much just as good as those. You just might be able to get it for cheaper as well. So overall, very happy with this build for the money. Thanks again to Montech for sponsoring this video. Check out their Sky One PC case and all their other cases that they have to offer in the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links and they do help us out and also their power supplies because they definitely make some good ones. So don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace. Adios. Oh no, the dust covers. Cannot let that happen. <laughs>